Hello guys, welcome to the Canon Tutorials. This is Akir, and today I'm going to introduce nested loops. So, nested loop is nothing more than a loop within a loop. So, what do I mean by loop within a loop? As you can see here, this is a simple for loop. You have initialization here, condition, and increment, and you have your statement here. Okay. So, what's a nested loop? If you just insert a new loop or the same loop in here like this it's called nested loop so what's the function of just a loop the function of loop is to repeat values what will this main loop do it will repeat this loop as well as it will also repeat a statement so i'm gonna explain this thing by an example Okay, I need to write the program. So I have started a program. Okay, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to make a two D a two dimensional figure in C. As you can see here, this is a two dimensional figure with stars and three lines. But you have, but how can you write a program? in order to create this kind of image on your screen. So let's initial, let's declare some variables. I'm going to declare two variables because we have we will be having two different loops. Now I'm going to write my main loop. So my main loop for using I variable, I'm initializing it with zero value and I'm giving it a condition and I'm incrementing it with I++ okay so here I am going to write my statement just to show you that how it works and new line character okay as you can see I executed the loop and I got five lines I got five lines in here so let's insert a new loop and then we will see that how does it how does our nested loop work okay I'm going to insert a new loop in here for and J I'm going I'm going to use the J variable here initializing it to zero then I'm giving it a condition for three let's say and I'm incrementing it with one. Okay, I'm also giving it a statement print f and semicolons. Okay, so I'm going to write character star here. Let's execute it. What happens? All right, you got one, two, three, four, five, five lines, and you got three stars in each line. So let me explain it with this. So as you can see, we wrote i is less than five. That means we will get five lines. One, two, three, four, five. We got five lines. In the next loop, which is inside this main loop, we wrote j is less than three, which was our condition. And we printed star. So we got three stars in each line. You can increase or decrease the numbers, the number here, the number of stars or the number of lines. So I increase the number of lines, the number of stars, and you can see you, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stars in each line. For additional example, you can refer to my other playlist or you can just simply click the link below the video. So thank you guys for watching and do practice all these loops so that you can understand it better.